The AC, which is installed at the minister's office, it was handed over to the National Ozone Unit as part of the global project Cool Contributions Fighting Climate Change 2. This is a project commissioned by the German Federal Ministry for the Environment, Nature Conservation and Consumer Protection. So this is um, basically a part of the technical and financial cooperation under the project to support Grenada in promoting green cooling, which is the use of natural refrigerants and cooling appliances together with high energy efficiency and also are ideally powered by renewable energy sources. Under the C4 project, um, one of our focus areas was the training of refrigeration and air conditioning technicians. We see this as a very important field because green cooling appliances need a special sort of skill set and that is why we always have a focus on training technicians, particularly female technicians, because it's also a very upcoming field and yeah, basically a field for the future. I got training from the NOU at TAMCC to install an R290 air condition here at the Ministry. It's a great feeling to be a part of a team of females to install an air condition for the Minister of Environment. When I entered Cooling Tech, I started out as a junior technician, so now I'm a senior technician. I just happened to get into it, and after getting into it, I just fell in love with it and I stuck with it. It's my first time actually working with females because presently where I work is only men so it's it's really really awesome. I grew up around HVAC so heating, ventilation, air conditioning as well as refrigeration so naturally I sort of gravitated towards it. It is to be honest quite challenging being a female in a, a field that is quite uh, male dominated especially you know most men don't really tend to like a woman giving them instructions especially. So it has its ups and downs, but it's good that you know, you're know you seeing women in a variety of different careers. And it's good that the younger generation could see that females are capable of doing anything really and truly. Um, as long as you put your mind to it, and as long as you have a passion for it, nothing is impossible. Stay motivated, don't give up. People will try to bring you down in this field, of course, as a lady. But just keep your head on and keep pushing forward. The theme for International Women's Day also speaks about more opportunities for um, gender equality for women, especially in these areas and, and in the STEM field. So I think that we do have the capacity here in terms of having much more females involved in, in getting into these non-traditional roles and this um, career path. And so we have to ensure that we lead by example as small islands. We have our difficulties, our challenges, yes, but our women are stepping out and they are playing their part and making their mark in this environment and in this industry. So I also want to extend my appreciation to the all-female-led team and I hope that they would encourage much more young people, much more young women to be sides, to get involved and to consider having a career path in, in these um, STEM fields. So thank you to GIZ for, for this donation and we do hope that we will strengthen our partnership and ensure that we get the necessary fundings required for us to actually phase out and phase down the ozone depleting substances that we have in all government buildings.